We are taking a look at a Samsung Plasma TV here. We've got a 42 inch uh, model. And we're going to take a look at the Y sustain and the Y buffer. Now the Y sustain here basically takes power uh, from the power supply and distributes it to the buffer, which then go, which then distributes the power throughout the panel. Some common problems that you could see with the Y sustain here would be that the TV shuts down and power cycles, but there is no picture on the screen. Some other symptoms would be that you have a dark picture on the screen, you have dots or speckles in the image that you're seeing on the screen, or you have a flashing screen often with shadowy sections. You could also hear that the TV makes a popping sound uh, it's usually pretty loud and then the TV after the popping sound would not be showing an image. Some common symptoms of a problem that could be the Y buffer is that you have no picture on the screen, you have black, uh, black lines going across the screen. Those lines are typically horizontal and they go all the way across the entire screen. These black lines could also be caused by damage to these ribbon cables. These cables connect to the Y buffer and then are connected to the panel itself. So you want to make sure that if you're ever working on this board that you do not damage these uh, connections here, the ribbon cables. You can also get lines across the screen if these uh, ribbon cables are not seated correctly. So if you do replace this board, you'll want to make sure that these connections are properly put all the way back in and line up correctly. Just a reminder that if you're having any problems with your uh, Plasma TV, please feel free to comment in the comment section below and please include your TV model number and the symptoms that your TV is displaying. We will respond to your question or comment as soon as we can with our recommended repair. So now we're going to take a closer look at the ribbon cable connections on this Y buffer board. These connections are very fragile and they are actually bonded into the panel on the other side here. So the, connect, the ribbon cable is bonded into the panel here, which you cannot remove, and then comes up here into the Y buffer, which you can disconnect if you need to replace the board. Now you'll always want to be gentle and remove this tape very smoothly. After you've removed that tape, you can flip up the tab here, this black tab, very carefully. Never use a screwdriver or any tool to open this, only use your finger. After you have that pulled up, you can simply pull out the uh, ribbon cable connection here. Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult, but... Once you have that pulled out, you can go ahead and continue with the rest of them and then remove your board. To connect them back in, you'll want to just slide it here and you'll hear it pop a little bit on this model um, or kind of click into place. There we go. Once you feel that it's back in there smoothly, you can again push down on this black tab to secure it. And then if your tape is still connected, you can run that tape over smoothly to help keep it in place. Now since these two boards are connected and they care Now since these two boards, the Y buffer and the Y sustain are connected and they share a lot of common symptoms, it is always recommended that you replace both at the same time. Thank you for watching one of our many tutorials here at ShopJimmy.com. If you have any further questions regarding your repair, simply post a question in the comments section below or call our award-winning customer service team at the number on your screen. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends and help us spread the savings. And don't forget to hit that like button.